It's the 73rd anniversary of D-Day, the day that marked a significant victory in 1944 for our troops fighting against Nazi Germany. KIDY's JJ Maldonado spoke to a few who remember the day and their contributions in World War II. Good evening, JJ. Good evening, Adam. Well, it's a war many fought and died and where many, despite their age and gender, contributed for our freedom. I just wanted to help out. I want all my work to be perfect so that that plane wouldn't fall and the war would be over. Adeline Beach had just married, moved to San Diego with her husband, and began working in the factories during World War II. She worked on planes our soldiers would fly and fight the war in. I was always kind of, <laughs> you know, thinking, gosh, wonder if I can do all that. She had to go to school for two weeks to learn to be an electrician for the planes, but it was working on B-24s where she made her mark as Rosie the Riveter. At the factory, she was handed a steel rod and was sent to work. I had to buck those rivets, inch apart, boop, 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 just like that. The contributions of women like Beach and many others impressed young kids, like Boyd Box, who was 13 years old when the war ended. Old people, young people, it just amazed me. And, uh, of course, Rosie the River was a hero to all of us. At 12 years old, he led his Boy Scout troop in collecting aluminum, paper, and any metal available. It was amazing how many people contributed to our victory. On June 6, 1944, the Allied forces landed in Normandy, France, a day that would be marked as D-Day. I remember that day, an odd thing going to my front door after the paper route and my mother announcing that D-Day was here. So. That significant day of victory gave Beach and many others hope. Oh, I just was so happy. I told my little boy, I said, Daddy's coming home. But then she got a letter. It was from her husband. I'm not coming home yet. They're keeping me longer because I can speak German and I have to be an interpreter over here. I was just, oh, just so sad. <laughs> it would be months before Beach was finally reunited with her husband, and now at 97, she holds fond memories of her past. I thought it was wonderful that the ladies would have courage enough to get up and get a job to help build planes so the men had to go to the service and fight the war. Well, both also just happen to be residents of the Baptist Retirement Community, and we thank them for sharing their stories. Adam? All right, Jay.